Hello everyone, welcome to Online Math TV. Today we have a very simple exponential challenge. Very, very simple exponential challenge. At a glance, we can tell the answer to this challenge, but we want to see how we can solve this challenge algebraically. The question is x to the power of x or to the power of 6 equal to 144. What that will be the possible value of x? So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, Turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. On Sunday early morning, I'm going to drop a very powerful exponential challenge, a very wonderful, a very nice exponential challenge. So to be among the first person to get the hint to how to solve tough and rhetorical exponential challenge of such, then turn off the bell notification button okay now with that being said let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time so we take our solution solution all right so we put down our question which is our x to the power of x out to the power of six this is equal to one four four simple then we can rewrite the right hand side because one four four is a perfect square so Rewriting it, this will give us a x all to the power of x all to the power of 6. This is equal to 12 to the power of 2. Good. So what we do here is easy. Let's raise the left-hand side and the right-hand side to the power of 6. Okay. Multiplying the exponent by the power of 6, this will now give us your x all to the power of your x all to the power of 6 in bracket or raised to 6. This is equal to your 12 to the power of 2 or raised to power 6. Okay, so what we do next? Now, if you look at this, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent, this is an exponent also. If you remember the law or you recall the law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of mn, this is the same thing as your a to the power of your m or in bracket into n, which is same thing as your a to the power of n, or in bracket into m, which is also a to the power of your n, m. So if we succumb to this rule here, we can rewrite what we have here. So we can move this inside and move this inside. So if we write everything here, we're going to come up with your x all to the power of 6 there raised to your x or raised to 6. This is equal to your 12 into 6 times 2 will give us 12. So to 12. We will now discover that the base here, every TA is the base, is equal to what we have this. So we can equally equate this to the y because this entity is raised to itself and this entity is raised to itself too so it does means okay so this now implies that your x to the power of 6 equal to your 12. so at this point what we do we take the sixth root of both sides so taking the sixth root of both sides we're going to have here the sixth root sixth root of your x to the power of 6 equal to the sixth root of your 12. God, whatever we do to the left hand side, we must do to the right hand side also. And so this, this will leave. So we now have our x is equal to your 12 to the power of 1 all over 6. All right. So, like I said earlier, of, stay tuned because 15 hours from now, I'm going to drop a powerful. Lipid math challenge, a rhetorical lipid exponential challenge that you will really, really find facilitating. Okay, you will love it when you see it. So stay tuned to watch that video. Thanks for always be there. Bye for now.